In the last tutorial, we saw how to make a very simple cliplet. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, it has a still background and uh, one layer on top with the water moving. And let's just add another layer. So we'll go and add another layer. And this time, uh, you'll see there's a number of different kinds of layers we can add. I'm going to choose mirror. It's called a mirror loop. And what I'm thinking is it might be fun to uh, take this bird you see down here uh, and try to capture it. Uh, kind of walking back and forth. So I'm going to set the beginning of the uh, loop right where he's standing up and then I will go back and adjust it where he's just taken one step forward and we're going to just mirror that back and forth. Now I'm going to do this right from the beginning so I'm going to slide the cliplet timeline back to the beginning and I'm going to click over here to turn on the loop all the way across and I need last thing I need to do, or actually I could have should have done this first, maybe is to make a mask to say what it is, uh, which piece we're going to take. So it'll be that piece, and now I should be able to render that. Now while it's rendering, I can point out what you see down here are symbolically these three different things. We have the blue still background, we've got the water in this orange loop, and then we're going to have the bird in this uh, green mirror loop that kind of goes up and down. And on the input timeline, you can see that, that little blue dot is where the uh, still is taken from, the water loop is taken from this little piece of the input, and the bird is going to be taken from this little piece of the input. And let's see how this turns out. Well, that didn't turn out great because of the way the, the bird is going back and forth, but it's kind of close to what I had in mind. Um, and I could go back and adjust, for example, exactly where this... Uh, you know, step takes place. And let's go back here. Maybe try to get it back to that point there. And so it's a little bit longer. I'm going to need to go in and adjust uh, my mask to make sure I capture all of that. And uh, actually, let's make this a little bit longer so it's not moving so quickly. And this should stretch it out a little bit in the Cliplet timeline. Let's try rendering again and see what happens. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Uh, kind of more what I had in mind. We've got one uh, layer with the water moving. We've got one layer with the bird just kind of walking forwards and backwards. And we've got our still behind. And once again, I could go up and save the project to continue working on it later or export it to a movie. And that's about it.